Hello everybody and welcome to my Ghost Trick deck profile. So today I'll be showcasing you this deck. It's a deck that's really fun and it's really gimmicky. It involves flipping your opponent's monsters face down while yours face up. And there's a lot of effects that go into it as well. Um, however, this build that I play, it's really different compared to what people normally play. So people usually play deck out builds with Skeleton. I just play a pure beatdown deck and a stun deck. So getting into it, we play two Ghost Trick Lanterns and two Ghost Trick Jack Frosts. Both of these are basically battle faders, except Jack Frost gets to flip the attacking monster face down and Lantern can stop uh, a direct attack or an attack against a Ghost Trick. And then we play one Ghost Trick Mary. When you take damage, you can discard Mary to special summon a Ghost Trick from your deck. Uh, Go Mary comes up once in a while. It's good against the Trickster matchup. Then uh, three Ghost Trick Spectre. It draw power when a monster you control is destroyed you can special summon them face down and draw one and that's a lot of advantage and then i play three copies of ghost trick doll doll basically lets you flip everything face down at the end phase and special summon a monster from your deck so doll nets you a lot of advantage going into your turn as well as your opponent's turn so and uh, doll is really hard to negate because it activates in two different times main phase and end phase yeah doll is just one of the better cards in the deck um one Ghost Trick Witch basically flips a monster face down on your opponent's side of the field. Also, the 1200 attack is really useful for the beatdown. And then the three searchers in the deck, three Ghost Trick Jiangshi. Like I said, no skeleton because we're not playing the deck out variant, we're playing the beatdown variant. Jiangshi actually doesn't come up that much in this build, but the searching for the hand traps is pretty nice. So that's uh, 15 main deck monsters. On to the spells. I play two Mansion and one Museum. So basically all the field spells, including Parade, which I'm not playing. Uh, if, you, if your opponent has face-down monsters, you can't attack the face-down monsters. Same with your opponent, they can't attack your face-down monsters. And Mansion halves any damage that is in Ghost Trick. Museum makes any monster that uh, dealt damage go face down. So uh, these are just nice because you can trigger your own monsters off of this and your opponents. And this just to keep yourself alive. Three Pot of Dualities and three Allure of Darkness. Duality because you don't special summon all that much, um, especially early game. Late game, your duality is kind of useless, but that's fine because you have Allures for draw power. Everything in your deck is dark, right? So Allure is awesome. Then one Book of Moon because there's synergy with the Ghost Trick deck, flipping monsters face down, right? And as well, it's just a good disruption card. So... On to the traps. We want to play a lot of traps because we want to react to our opponent's plays. So I play three copies of Ghost Trick Scare. Standard card in the deck. Flip your monsters face up, your opponent's monsters face down. Really good card. Helps you stall, helps you win games. Two copies of Ghost Trick Break. Uh, when a Ghost Trick you control is destroyed, special summon two Ghost Tricks from your grave. This helps you get resources back, helps you net more advantage. And then I play three copies of Anti-Spell Fragrance because you don't play that many spells, it's fine. And this helps slow down your opponent so that you can stay into the game. Then I play two copies of There Can Only Be One, which is a floodgate. All your levels are different types, so There Can Only Be One is really nice for that. And then two copies of Drowning Mirror Force because your opponent can direct attack you with, if your field spells up. So you can Drowning Mirror Force them and basically net a lot of advantage from it. I don't play Quaking in this deck anymore because of Link monsters. And Drowning can usually be more rewarding anyways. And then I play two copies of Solemn Strike and one copy of Solemn Warning just to keep yourself in the game by not having to deal with like a Crystal Wing or something. So yeah, that about sums up the main deck. On to the extra deck. I play three copies of Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Um, searches for any spell or trap in the deck, which is really, really nice. And 2000 Beater, which lets you hit your opponent over and over again, which is basically how you win the game. <laughs> And then two copies of Ghost Trick Alucard lets you pop a set. He floats if he hits the grave, especially if you're making mischief. Helps you get into mischief, of course, and then get back your resources. One's a cute boss you can make with your doll or witch. Uh, I don't make it that much. It's actually not that good, but it's there to make mischief if you have to. And then three Dullahans because um, it helps you get over big monsters and it helps you make mischief again. These, all of these make mischief, so you have to play them. Then I play one Lurlusk Assembled Nightingale because Break helps you get more level ones on the field if you really need to, and making this is kind of fun swinging over and over again directly, so yeah, one uh, Assembled Nightingale, and also the Slacker Magician for stalling. 
And then for the links, we play Ib, Underclock Taker, Clara, and Link Karibo. Trust me, I don't make any of these. Uh, I want to play Wii Witch's Apprentice, but I don't have one on me. Like, Link is the only one that I've ever made. These three are there because in theory they I can make them. I don't play any of the Link 4s. You don't really want to use that many resources for it. And Links in general just don't synergize well with the deck, but it's good to have them at times, especially since Link Rebo can stall, right? Well, that about sums up my deck for the Ghost Tricks. Um, that was weird phrasing, but... You know what I meant. And uh, yeah, um, there's a lot of ways to build the deck. There's stall variants, of course, with Skeleton, but to me, I just found that this build was just much more consistent and won me more games. Um, yeah, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys tune in next time for another deck profile.